Hey guys, in today's video of Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at working with bitmaps and we're going to be importing and scaling it with the first video. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program, yeah. Now, just a um, little note. This is probably going to be about a two-part, maybe three-part mini-series on working with bitmaps. And, uh, yeah, I will leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. So now, when it comes to importing the bitmap, um, there's two ways you can go about it. You can simply just drag and drop it from your file browser. Or what you can do is you go to your top main menu, click on File, and we navigate till we find Import. Then you navigate to where your file is located. I just made a smaller version so we don't um, blow up the whole screen here with the image. And then if for some reason you do not see it, then just make sure your um, file type is set to readable or all readable. So if it's set to something which it will not see or it's not the same format, it won't see it. So just on top, all readable. Select your file and then on the right here we've got two options. We can obviously preview it. So in case your thumbnails are not on like mine, and another option is to link it. So then it's not directly um, in your file, but linked towards it. And I'm just going to leave mine off and click import here. And it's going to give you this little bounding box to where you want to import your image to. I'm going to click here for now. As you can see here, we've got our image. So now what we're going to do in this first video, we're just going to look at some basic ways of scaling it. And then in the next video, we'll look at resampling it. So now to set the scale, you can uh, simply just use these um, control points. Click, hold your left mouse button and scale it. If for some reason it scales it not proportionally like this, I mean like this, then um, just keep shifting. So if it's scaling it like this, not proportionally, you can keep shifting and it will readjust it. Another way we can do this is if we open our design central panel which is here next to the undo and redo it's the first icon next to them to the right we click that we've got our design central here at the bottom here we can see we've got um, proportional enabled so that means if i scale um, the width or the height it's gonna keep it proportional to each other if we deselect that then it will be able to scale these individually but i would recommend if it's a bitmap keep that enabled so then and this is the other way we can do it so we can simply just scale it from here uh, it goes proportionals on and we do, whether we do the width or the height they both will be scaling and at the bottom here we've got the origin or the point it's scaling to so let's say we want to scale it to the top left corner we'll click on that little icon and then now when we scale it it will scale it towards that corner now you scale it to the size you want it and then you don't even have to click enter or hit enter nothing you can just simply move it to where you want it and um, yeah there we go that is ready so now like i mentioned in the next video we're going to be looking at resampling this so if you wanted to reduce the quality as well because at the moment this is still the original quality it was when we imported it it just looks smaller but for that we'll uh, head into another video so for now if you guys head to softwaretraining.co.za you guys all know we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find the video you're looking for you can always go here request a training video and then we'll make that video for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers